Pastor Julian here with Central's Devotion for today. In seminary, there was a, a verse that the professors kept reminding us about and trying to ingrain in us. And that verse is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15. It says, Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head, that is, Christ. In a seminary classroom, this is essential because you have uh, brothers and sisters in Christ getting together from different backgrounds, from different denominations, and uh, who might have some different interpretations, uh, different uh, views of social issues. And so it's important when you get together in that kind of environment, especially to understand that you need to share the truth in love. Share the truth in love. So that when you have that group um, together, that there is a unity and a mutual respect and love for one another. But this isn't just something for the seminary classroom. This is something for Christians everywhere. It would be great if it was for people everywhere. If they could exercise speaking the truth in love. Like I said, it's expected of Christians, but it'd be wonderful if everybody could do it. My children, my two sons, Trace and Cayman, they will often get into these arguments that escalate. Say, Cayman does something to get Trace killed in a video game. Trace gets upset and angry and might uh, yell at Cayman and start being rude to him. And then Trace will, and then Cayman will react and might even hit Trace and start calling Trace names. This eventually escalates to the point where they come to me and my wife, screaming and hollering. And with kids, what they are saying isn't necessarily untrue. Uh, what either of them were telling us of what happened. But neither of them were speaking truth in love. They were speaking truth because they wanted some sort of retribution. And I'll stop them and I'll say, well, what do you, Cayman, what do you want me to do to Trace? What do you want me to do to him right now? And I said, do you, do you want me to spank him? Do you want me to take electronics away from him for a week? And uh, And he'll get this smirk and this, look on his face like, yeah. Um, but I'm, but it helps them to understand why they are sharing these truths with one another. It's not out of love. It's because they want some sort of revenge. But see, with kids, they aren't mature, are they? They're not mature yet. But this, in speaking the truth in love, says we will grow to become in every respect, the mature body of him who is the head, that is Christ. A lot of us have tried to uh, engage in racial conversations uh, with people of, uh, of a different skin color, perhaps, or people of the same skin color. We've tried to engage in conversations about COVID-19 and some of the regulations going on with that. We tried to engage in conversations about politics, engage in conversations about all different sorts of things. But the, the problem is that in a lot of these conversations, the truth is not being spoke in love. It's important to speak the truth in love. And let me give you some points. When you're speaking to someone who, who you, need, you, you need to share a truth with, first of all, make sure it's a truth. Make sure that what you're sharing is, is a truth. Um, even if it's, you know, what you're saying right now has really hurt my feelings. Sure, that's subjective and that's somewhat of an opinion, but it's a truth as well, because your feelings have been hurt. That is truth, and you need to share that. Make sure it's truth, though, <clears throat> and not an opinion. 
and make sure that the person that you are sharing this truth with, that you love them, that you love them, and that that truth that is coming out of you is being shared in love, not out of uh, arrogance, not out of malice, not out of selfishness, but out of love. And also, be, be careful to make sure that how you share it is in a loving way, is in a loving way. Friends, go forth and speak the truth in love and grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head, that is, Christ.